Dub C here, and we're back with another MRE Rash Review. But first, it's going to start with an unboxing. And I would say that it's we're going to name this Christmas in June. And you say, why you name it Christmas in June? Because anytime I get a big old package in the mail, and I know it's got MRE stuff in it, I light up like it's Christmas. So I got a package from Jack of Trades. I want to unbox it, and then there's another Christmas themed item that uh, they have told me about. I want to check it out. So let's get inside, unbox. And then we'll do a review. All right, so it's time to unbox. And again, special thanks to Jack of Trades. I really appreciate sending this to me. I'm really excited to see what's inside. To be fair, I did open it and take off the items, but I have not uh, looked inside other than what the note. And so the, the note you sent, um, read that, kind of got the details of that. But that's all I've seen. So this unboxing is going to be the first time checking out these items, except for what you listed on the letter. So... Oh man, it's loaded. It's a huge box. So right off the bat, we got an IMP Poutine. One of my absolute favorite mains. So I'm so excited to get that and uh, have that. We got sliced pears, which is another IMP dessert. So that's really awesome. We got a big old Emory Nation. Menu uh, what was 46 Frankfurters. I've never had that. I never got a chance to get that one. So excited to try that one out. That's awesome. Look at all these sides. There's a raspberry white chip cookie. Wow, that's like a, like a the biscuit. I've never seen the biscuit um, in the MRE, and I've never seen this. So really awesome. Really happy to check that out. Got some cheese spread with jalapenos. Who doesn't love that? Some smoked almonds. Awesome. And then uh, they also mentioned, I always have issues with the uh, red packs, the taster choice. So I got a couple of those to try out. There's quite a bit in there, so that's really awesome. Uh, some raisins. We got some chocolate chip toaster pastries a lot of the stuff i have not seen before so it's really awesome to see i mean we got some crackers got an oatmeal cookie look at the, the size it's different from them the packaging is different that's really cool i just like seeing all the variations of packaging throughout the years it's really interesting we got a nut raisin mix very cool You guys are getting to see a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get this big one out. So another reason it's Christmas in June is this is the ration winter review. So I never got to try this. Very excited to try it. This is the uh, limited edition Milko Weather Christmas dinner from Minotaur Trading Company. Uh, again, it's, it was limited edition. It's 19 of 100. But I want to review this and I want to see what I can do with the, spli the spices to change it up. So really excited to check that out. We got a bag of goodies, like accessory packet. More uh, Taser's Choice Red. Oh my gosh, I love the I love these coffees. And then uh, what's this one? This is hazelnut. I've never seen that before. That's really cool. So we got like a homemade accessory packet. Bunch of cool stuff in here. We got a looks like an IMP uh, napkin. I always like those. Got a Texas Pete hot sauce. Got some matches. Some Tic Tacs. Taster's Choice Red. Gotta love it. This is uh, Nectar Honey Crystals. Whoa, that's cool. So it's actually like honey crystals you use like for in place of sugar. Awesome. Well, that's cool. Uh, salsa picante, very awesome. I've not seen that. Got some yellow. Oh wow, yeah, this is all stuff for the Frankfurters. Nice. Got a moist towelette. Another. Uh, oh, is your uh, stevia and monk fruit? Awesome. Yeah, I use that uh, actually quite a bit when I'm uh, during my keto phases. We got some uh, cane sugar, sugar in the raw. Very cool. Now it's kind of wrapped up in a Canadian beverage bag. 
the best ones, I believe. They work great for pretty much anything. So, just so much stuff. This, I mean, I can't thank you enough, Jack and Trades. This is extremely generous. We got another beverage bag. Very cool material. It's different from the other ones. We got some vegetable crackers. Some of my favorite crackers for sure. Ooh, we got a lot of drinks. Ooh, chocolate dairy shake powder. Excited to check that out. That's I've had the protein powder. I wonder if this is the same thing. We got lemon lime beverage. We got a French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. Cocoa beverage powder. I mean, it just keeps going. We got MRE spoon, and we got a tin. Look at that. Four, four MRE tin extras. Feels really, oh, geez. It's loaded, too. So we got some smooth peanut butter. I love these. This is plum jam. I love the Andro's uh, jams. Really good. Oh, wow. Raspberry jam from IMP. I hear so much about these. Excited to check that out. And then the tin is just full of, uh, looks like biscuits and crackers that I've never had before. Some more, uh, looks like Russian crackers or biscuits. Look at that. That's, that's, uh, that's like a diamond in the rough right there. That's uh, the apple butter from Russians. I'm telling you, you get try that in a Russian ration, it's just some of the best stuff. We got some honey. I believe that's from a Lithuanian, possibly. We got a uh, hand wipe, moist nap, and I'm not sure what that is. That could be pate, cheese, or um, maybe like, no, nah, it doesn't feel like caviar. It's pretty pretty dense. So, I mean, just just amazing loadout. Like I said, it's Christmas in June. I, I'm speechless. This is so much wonderful things. Uh, Jack of Trades is a wonderful... Um, very generous person for sending all this. They also comment a lot and support a lot of channels. Uh, I can't thank them enough. They support my channel, which I really appreciate. So that was the unboxing. Now I'm going to get all this uh, squared away. And we're going to do a review on the Meal Cold Weather Limited Edition Menu Christmas Dinner. This is 19 out of 100. They said they don't make them anymore. But let's see what we can uh, come up with some awesome combos. We got all those awesome items put away. For now, we're going to get jump into the menu, uh, limited edition meat Christmas dinner. So it's Christmas in June. I got my arsenal of spices ready to go. We're going to make something up awesome. Got the peelable seal. And it, it, it's just awesome to be able to experience this because I missed out on it. Um, so very happy to get to try this. I've always wanted to. So right off the bat, we have some freeze-dried vegetable blend. Got some ideas for that. We have some potatoes mashed instant. We have a applesauce cake. Got a basic pack. We'll get into that in just a second. We got our freeze dried turkey slice. Very cool. Probably rehydrate them in beverage bags like this. We got a couple of them to mix it up, mix and match. So very cool. It actually comes with uh, directions, so that's really cool. We got an FRH. Won't need that today. Gonna use my biscuit or camping stove up here. And we got two candy canes. We got a uh, peppermint mocha cappuccino and an eggnog cappuccino. Very interested to check those out. Very cool stuff. Just get set up. We got our basic pack loaded with stuff. We got our spoon, got our Smarties, salt and pepper, we use those today, true lime, true lemon, 
We got the pink lemonade clear drink. Oops. Better zoom on that. Oh boy. There we go. Got a coffee creamer. Got a uh, cane turbinado sugar. And a deep rich coffee. We got a peanut butter, grape jelly, sweet and condensed creamer spread, cream cheese icing, and a malted green snack bread. So we got our water boiling for our um, main and our veggies and our coffee. We're just going to keep on getting that hot water going and we're just going to transfer them over to the um, beverage bags because I can seal them up. We got our chicken, or uh, freeze-dried turkey slice. It's really interesting. We'll put it in our beverage bag, get it ready for the water, but we're gonna add the seasonings too. So I'm gonna go with a lemon pepper turkey slice, just to season it up. So we got our lemon pepper right here. Boom, into our lemon pepper. And we're gonna add a little bit of minced onion too. I'm gonna get the before I even add the water. I'm just gonna get seasoning in there. That way, it's like a marinate, marination while it's uh, rehydrating. Hopefully, it sucks that um, seasoning right in. So we got our lemon pepper, loading that up. Then a little bit of minced garlic or minced onion. Just get a little onion flavor in there. Perfect. Okay, got our spices in there, got our turkey slice, I'm gonna add the hot water. Hopefully without making a big mess, it is piping hot. Here we go. A little bit of mess would be all right. Now adding that water and you see that spices, just mixing up right there. We're gonna get all the air out of it. We're gonna lay it down. Like similar to ramen, I can, oh wow, it smells fantastic. Like ramen noodles, so you have that seasoned packet, same thing, you're adding the seasoning to it, it's just gonna saturate and get into everything. So I got the lemon pepper and the uh, minced onion in there, and that smell, that aroma is just amazing. So we'll let that reconstitute. All right, so same thing for the freeze-dried vegetable one. We're gonna open that up, let, uh, let it get some air. Kind of shake the packaging down and get it into the beverage bag with the seasonings and uh, let it marinate in its own juices. Okay, we got our vegetable blend. I'm going to add some minced onion. I love onions, so it's nice to it, it enhance the flavor on everything to me. Got some rosemary garlic seasoning. It's going to be fantastic on the vegetables. Go ahead and load that up. And we are going to add some butter powder. Because who doesn't like buttery vegetables? Look at that. The more butter, the better. Right, now we're at our hot water. Set that aside. Make sure we have enough water. Just kind of shake it around. Look at all those seasonings in there. Just hopefully soaking right into the vegetables. Get all, get all the air out and let it sit. This reminds me of uh, when R.I. Eeyore uh, made this meal in his truck and he did like the gravy and the cranberry sauce. Man, it was awesome. Uh, I'll put a link down below so you can check that out. It was really cool. All right, so we got our potatoes mashed instant. I'm just gonna put those in a bowl. And we are going to spice those up and then add the water and then let them sit. And uh, this one's I'm going to just add them to the bowl like that. And we're going to use this as a lid to kind of keep it warm. But I'm going to add Montreal steak seasoning to that because I want like a hearty mashed potato. So we we'll just load up the seasoning. It says it's better if you do it dry sometimes. Um, that way it just, when the water absorbs in, it pulls it all in. This kind of has every, all the seasonings right in. And then I'm going to add some butter powder. So again, who doesn't love the butter? Get 
and we'll add the water and then we'll uh, stir it up and let it sit. Okay, we got our hot water. It says at about four, four ounces. Oh, wow, that smells. This one, that's, the water hits the seasonings like that and just instantly uh, wakes up. Oh, a little bit thick. We'll add a little bit more water. Oh, yeah, perfect. These actually mix up really fast. Um, you don't really need to let these reconstitute or anything like that. So they're really just instant mashed potatoes. As you can see, they're they're almost they're ready to go right now. We got the seasoning, perfect. I'll just let them sit right now. Now I got the multi-green snack bread. I'm um, gonna skip the peanut butter and jelly because I'm gonna have a plenty of food, and I'm gonna make the multi-green snack bread into a garlic bread. So I'm going to basically just take it, wet the uh, top of it with the extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic on it. So we can have some garlic bread with our dinner. So we put a little bit on it, probably put a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm just kind of spread it around, get it up all nice and covered. And then we'll take it and set it over here. And we'll get our, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of butter. Make a little bit of butter powder on there. And then we'll hit it with the garlic. So now we have some garlic bread. Look at that. Boom, we got just all kinds of sides going on here. I'll make up our dessert real quick. So it comes with an applesauce cake. And we are going to jazz that up with cinnamon maple sprinkles and some powdered sugar. And then I also have the cream cheese icing. Oh, wow. Mmm, it smells delicious. I'm going to hit it with the powdered sugar, just like that. I mean, we know we've got a pretty much a nice mega feast going on here we got lemon pepper chicken we got the minced onion rosemary garlic vegetables i got garlic bread i got a maple cinnamon sprinkle applesauce pound cake with the powdered sugar and then montreal steak seasoning and butter mashed potatoes a few more things to make up i got my pink lemonade clear my favorite drink pink lemonade out of these white packets is the pink lemonade and i love to add the true lime. Look at that essence of lime and pink lemonade. A quick stir. Bowl in some water for, I'm going to make the uh, eggnog cappuccino and I'm going to add the uh, coffee to it. Got my four and a mug. Drop that all together. Kind of make it like an eggnog mochaccino. Got I love adding coffee to the cappuccinos. Just add my coffee to this. And then we'll wait for the hot water. Okay, we got our hot water and jam out some coffee. Boom. And add the eggnog cappuccino. Nice. I've never had the eggnog cappuccino, so we're excited to try that out. All right, I think we are ready to go. Got everything made up and just ready to go. How exciting. Wow, that smells really good. All right, so let's uh, start getting on everything pulled out and ready to eat. So we got our mashed potatoes ready. And then some more butter, fried Parmesan cheese to those. I mean, the vegetables are perfect. They like almost perfect reconstitution. Got a nice seasoned left in them. A bit harder to get out of the bag. There we go. Oh, that smells wonderful. And I'm just going to leave the juices right with this uh, turkey slice. So it just it smells just fantastic. 
I mean, recon's too perfect. It's still very warm. And it's, it's falling apart perfectly. All right, we got our butter powder. I'm gonna rehit the uh, mash so I have a fresh zest on those. And then I do want to add a little bit more lemon pepper to the top of the. Look at that. All right, so let's dig in. First, uh, go ahead and try the vegetables. Vegetables reconstitute perfectly. The seasoning and blends just comes out. It, it's just, it's like the water, when it re rehydrated, absorbed the flavor into it. It's really good. I'm going to add a little bit more butter powder to those as well, because I think that would awesome, be an awesome touch. All right, let's try a piece of this sliced turkey. And it's, and it's all, I mean, I love freeze dried because it tastes so fresh. It's like it was just made. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for this. Again, same thing. The seasons just got absorbed inside the meat. It's very juicy. Um, this the, the sauce is like gravy because of the seasoning itself. Very salty, and it just pairs so well. The lemon pepper just, boom, really good. This may be MVP. It's fantastic. Let's go ahead and try these mashed potatoes. These are mashed potatoes with the Montreal steak seasoning. Just to give them a kick. It's like a steakhouse mashed potato. It's just really, really aggressive with the flavor. But that's what I really like. Uh, black pepper and, and the seasonings come through really well. And now we got our garlic bread. It changed the flavor profile of the wheat snack bread. Although it is still very dry, the olive oil helps um, give it a little bit more moisture. But the butter and the garlic blended together at the top it tastes just like garlic bread i'm gonna go ahead and wash it down with my pink lemonade lime drink all right so now we're going to try a little bit of this dessert it's the cinnamon maple sprinkle with the um, powdered sugar on the applesauce cake another fantastic pairing the granulate the cinnamon maple sprinkles on top are like little crunchy granules so they add to that texture it's really good it's very sweet it's perfect i could i'm going to add a little bit of the cream cheese icing um, but first I got to get a megabyte. So this megabyte, it's going to be intense. We're going to add some veggies to the mashed potato. We're going to add some of the chicken or the turkey slice. Um, it's going to be epic. Nice piece of that. Oh yeah. And then, like I said, this juice is almost like gravy. So we'll just add a little bit more. All right. This is going to, it's going to be a little crazy. So. Bear with me. Got the mega bite right here. Christmas in June. Oh yeah, that's MVP. Everything pairs together real well. I feel like I'm legitimately eating Christmas dinner. The seasonings just brought everything to a whole nother level. Now we're gonna get this uh, cream cheese icing on this uh, cake. We're gonna try this eggnog drink. Man, this is this is fantastic. The cream cheese icing only does, it just makes it better. It's sweeter. The pairs really well. Everything is just, I'm wild by this. I'm just amazed. So we got our eggnog cappuccino with the uh, coffee in it. The eggnog cappuccino is very smooth. Has the hint of subtle flavor of eggnog that's really, you know, brings back memories. Of, you know, Christmas. And then that coffee just put us a nice ding on it. But again, this, this is... A great meal and you could change it up in so many variations but everything's so fantastic I keep on saying fantastic but I can't help it all right I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll talk more in final thoughts so final thoughts on the meal cold butter limited edition meal menu Christmas dinner well it was fantastic it is no longer in production but I was able to take the spices and change it up and I'm really excited to see what other entries come up into the gourmet uh, you know cookbook contest because you could take this ration and make it three or four different ways with the spices. Uh, but the Montreal steak seasoning and the mashed potatoes was awesome. The veggies with the rosemary garlic, minced onion, the uh, turkey slice with the lemon pepper and the uh, minced onion. It just everything was fantastic. The, I made the garlic bread with the wheat snack bread um, and then the applesauce cake was perfect. I was, it was a, a, quite a feast. I was full. I'm breathing and I, I still didn't make up the peppermint 
mocha cappuccino, which I'm gonna save for another one, and then had two candy canes for the theme, that was really cool. But it truly was Christmas in June. It felt like a holiday dinner. It was just really good. Every component paired really well together. Um, again, special thanks to Jack of Trades for sending me such rare items. I'm gonna enjoy all of them and include them into reviews and other meals that I eat. So thanks again, um, fantastic MRE. Excited to try out some more crazy and rare ones. That's awesome. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching and have a great day.